Radical Imam Anwar al-Awlaki has been on the radar of U.S. intelligence for nearly a decade. So the Joint Terrorism Task Force snapped to attention last December with intercepted messages between al-Awlaki and a U.S. Army officer. Officials say over six months, Major Nadal Hassan traded 10 to 20 messages with the controversial cleric, who has ties to al-Qaeda and the 9-11 hijackers. But officials deemed the communications benign, and the FBI concluded Hassan presented no imminent threat. Nothing suggested violence or an incitement to violence, one senior official said. We didn't have enough for a preliminary investigation. And a review of Hassan's military files suggested the research was consistent with him being a licensed psychiatrist treating soldiers. The military had a representative on the task force who apparently agreed with the assessment. But a senior defense official says the Pentagon and Army knew nothing of Hassan's contacts with Alaki until after the shootings. In hindsight, critics question whether the government too quickly dismissed Hassan as a threat. They reach a conclusion, you know, based on uh, just an overview and a cursory view of the evidence that said we don't have to worry about this guy. There were reasons to worry. Hassan received poor performance reviews at Walter Reed, frequently criticized the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And in June 2007, Hassan gave a shocking presentation to colleagues. Using slides, Hassan argued forcing Muslim soldiers to fight wars in Muslim countries puts them at risk to hurting, killing believers unjustly. And he ominously warned of adverse events. Yet it's not clear that anyone inside the military had a complete picture of Hassan's growing radicalization. Was somebody taking an objective look at who this individual was, what he was becoming, and what the potential was that he would actually act out and be violent? Now the president has ordered a thorough review demanding that all of the agencies involved determine if once again somehow the government has failed to connect critical dots. Katie? Bob Orr reporting from Washington. Bob, thanks.